Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can share projects in Loopy Pro between the standalone version and, um, and host like AUM. So let's start. Before I um, carry on with the tutorial, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Okay, I'm inside the standalone version of Loopy Pro. Now, if I go on the folder, so top left hand side, and I select projects, I don't have any saved projects at the moment. I have sample projects, of course, and then I have these audio uni extension folder, which is uh, very handy because it allows you to actually share in the projects between the audio unit instance and the standalone version. So, okay, so let's uh, do something like uh, adding an additional clip like so and um, which is on a loop fashion and also another one which is instead play once i'm not going to do anything more than that but just to prove the concept that you can share projects i'm now going to save this project and it is called a blaze turnip so let's click save and if you go inside the project list you can see it there okay so now let's exit and let's go to AUM, create an audio channel, okay? And then what we are going to do, we're going to uh, load or uh, Loopy Pro, like so. Let's uh, open up, like so. We are going to go to the folder and we're going to click on projects. And as you can see, the project is not there. Now, let's do something different here like create a lot of different controls like these for to make sure that we can see we can notice the differences between projects and let's save this project as well this one is called manasi mania called gear okay so let's click save now and if you go under project you can see it there mania called gear okay perfect now let's go back to the um standalone version of Loopy Pro. Let's click on projects. You can still see the Blaze Turnip project, which we have created inside the standalone version, but you cannot see the project which we have created as an audio unit. If you go up here, where it says audio unit extension folder, click on it, and now you can see the project which was created inside Loopy Pro in AUM. So click on it and just you can see it is the same project with the four different controls. Okay, so now we can read the project which is being created in Looping Pro in the audio unit instant inside the Looping Pro in the standalone version. But how can we do the opposite? Well, it's very simple. So let's go to the folder again. Let's select project. Then let's click on edit up here. Let's select that project a blaze turnip and let and then let's click move then let's select the audio unit extension folder and let's move it there and just to prove let's go inside you can see they are both there now let's exit that and let's go back to AUM so now we are inside AUM as you can see right so let's uh, um, open up again Loopy Pro let's go to the folders let's go to the project okay and there you can see the blaze turnip so let's click to load it. And as you can see, now we have loaded the same project which was created in Loopy Pro in the standalone version inside Loopy Pro as an audio unit, in this case, hosted by AUM. Okay, I thought to show, show you that, even if it is a short tutorial, because uh, it clarifies um, for everybody what um, um, the particular folder in the standalone version stands for, i.e this audio uni extension folder okay i hope you enjoyed and uh, see you at the next tutorial thank you bye